That's right above us, see? Oh, look, there's two of them. Where? Well, isn't this one and that one? There, it's going together well, let's get to make back one. Out of here. Look at that going over there. That's on the other side of it. And see how still it is? Well, they're going together. Oh, my word. We better head in. Oh, it's so fascinating. Tornado on the ground. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> yes. More stopped over there. They have Tornado. <laughs> Come over here. Uh, uh, okay, stop right there. Yeah, right there. Janet, here's your tornado. Yeah, Benji, stay in. Got probably all got all the kids here. We're watching the tornado. It's heading towards Lucas or towards us. It looks like it's coming right towards us. You know what a tornado looks like, Lori. There she blows. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, my goodness. That is a beauty. Yes, sir. We have tornado. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, time is 740. Large tornado on the ground. We're in. We're about 10 miles north of Wabasso. Very large tornado on the ground. Strong in flow winds. Everybody at home styles, this is it. This is what we came out for. We had a simul, we had a double tornado event initially. Now we've just got one single tornado, and it is huge. Kicking up dust and debris. Large tornado on the ground. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is spectacular. Monster wedge. Oh my goodness, eat your heart out. We've got a monster wedge here. Huge tornado. This is bigger than Wabasso. We are in perfect position for it. Wind it up. Look at that downward motion, folks. God, look at that. Look at that rear flank downdraft just punching right in. We're gonna get blitz right here. There it is, it's on the ground. Oh my ball. We might get hit by a suction spot. Look at that thing. Ooh! Look huh. at the size of it. That's a snake. God. It is a monster. I think we're in Graham, Texas. Tornado on the ground. Where did it go? Did it, it just jump up? Yeah. God, my heart is just Good afternoon. We are interrupting regular programming to bring you uh, live coverage of a tornado that's on the ground just to the northeast of Stapleton Airport. Um, there is a big finger of brown cloud and what you can see there is a huge pile of, of dust that's being sucked up off the ground and pulled up into the air. There's a big long tube that goes up into the bottom of the uh, cloud that you can see overhead and uh, where it is at the moment is not in any dangerous area. We've been watching it for about five minutes. Yeah, Jim Danny's house, a tornado right here at Carl Products. I'm right here with him, 100 yards from it, Debbie. Where are you at? Get everybody inside, because this is one big thing. Well, it's blowing the tires, not that bad. This thing has gotten larger uh, and larger. It's debris all over the place, and it's definitely coming right into the, to the uh, southwest corner of the city. By the mid-1990s, more than 1,000 tornadoes, water spouts, and assorted tornadic vortices had been captured on film. Some tornadoes, like this one near Houston, are part of major outbreaks that were forecast well in advance. There she goes. Well, that's photogenic, don't you think? Yep. Nice, smooth funnel. Little clear slot. I'm going to pan up and take a look at this updraft. Some are just isolated events. 
perhaps the only tornado of the day. Many tornadoes are seen at a great distance or obscured by trees or rain. While these may not appear spectacular, a few are historic. This Alabama tornado caused 20 deaths in a church on a Palm Sunday morning. The home video camera has given people who would never dream of chasing a tornado the chance to capture unprecedented close-ups, improve forecasts, and the growing number of video cameras probably guarantees a steady flow of unique tornado videos for as long as cameras are made. Despite all of this spectacular photography, there are many fundamental steps in the formation of a tornado about which we barely have a clue. In the first part of this video, we'll look in on some people who are eagerly looking for those clues. Tornado forecasting has improved largely because we understand supercell thunderstorms so well. Can you believe that? What's that? The house is taken oh. clear off their foundation. It is these magnificent thousand cubic mile weather systems that spawn the most devastating tornadoes. those jaw-dropping We know that supercells range from the low precipitation, or LP variety, that rarely spawn a major tornado, all the way to the high precipitation, or HP variety, that can dangerously hide a tornado in rain. This is un... We know a great deal about supercell formation and rotation. So much, in fact, that we can create one in a computer out of just mathematical equations. This is not an artist's conception of a growing supercell. This is a computer product and one of the great achievements of modern meteorology. The result of prodigious number crunching. The computer has been programmed with equations of airflow and heat transfer. The program begins with only equations and a set of initial weather conditions. Remarkably, the model develops an anvil, a dome, a flanking line, and many other supercell features. The computer has been programmed with equations of airflow and heat transfer. The programmers have to know a great deal about the mechanics of a thunderstorm before a computer program can actually mimic what occurs in nature. Wind shear makes many of these airflows rotate, and they all interact. A great mystery remains, however. Just which of these bewildering convergences, rotations, updrafts, and downdrafts are the ones that actually create the tornado? Project Vortex came into being in an effort to help solve that mystery. We have very little data from directly under and around the parent supercell. Without that data, our theories of tornado formation will remain just that. Theories. We don't know why tornadoes reach all the way to the ground. Seemingly ideal supercells sometimes just refuse to spawn a tornado. Look at those bands up on the... Isn't that incredible? Jeez. Look at that thing in the northwest. Yeah, I know. 
Why doesn't it do it? Eric Rasmussen, the Vortex Field Commander, will tell us more about the project while we watch part of a Vortex chase in the Texas Panhandle. Sometimes we're not sure who is chasing who. Mostly what we're looking at is uh, try to understand supercell dynamics and what gets the tornado to the ground. I guess by and large, everyone has a pretty good idea what it takes to get a storm rotating in the middle levels. And that is a certain kind of wind shear profile in the environment. But what it takes to get a tornado to the surface is completely unknown. And in fact, I think we probably know less about it than we thought we did because we're, when we're going out there to the field, uh, the tornadoes keep surprising us where they form and how they form. So uh, I think we're gathering the data we need together to find out what it really takes to get a tornado to the ground. And it'll be the first time we've ever really thought about it or, or had good enough data to try to understand the problem. It's pretty likely that we'll find out that a lot of tornadoes don't come from storms that are supercells originally. Essentially, they turn into supercells at the same time they become tornadic. Got uh, rotations picking up. Big tornado kinds, uh, about 50% down right now. The purpose of Project Vortex Look, was to try to gather data about one of the last great mysteries of tornado formation. Uh, that final around. step that takes the vortex from high altitude rotation inside the supercell thunderstorm to a tornado on the ground. The idea that supercells and tornadoes form at the same time, like this tornado, is an important one and presents a real problem for forecasters. Vortex may show us that some violent tornadoes give little or no forecasting lead time, no matter how much radar technology is in place. Uh, okay, we got a tornado uh, spotted on the right side. I bet you want to know what we go to the field with. We take, uh, we take 12 sedans, nine of them we call mobile mesonets, and all they do is drive to particular parts of the storm and try to measure, uh, they have rooftop equipment for measuring uh, temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed and direction, and position uh, using GPS satellite. And then we have three more sedans. Two of those are turtles vehicles to drop instrumented packages in the path of the tornado. And then this year we have three radar uh, vehicles. One is a brand new mobile scanning Doppler, uh, the first of its kind anywhere, and it's getting tremendous data. And then we have Howie Bluestein's two vehicles. One is a, a uh, millimeter wave Doppler from the University of Massachusetts, and the other one is a uh, FMCW Doppler that they just point by hand, a couple of rabbit ears and antennas on it. Uh, there's two aircraft, one's the NOAA P-3, the hurricane plane. And it has a, a radar in its belly that scans horizontally and like a conventional radar, and then it has a radar in its tail which scans vertically. It's a do the tail radar is a Doppler radar, and it just takes slices of velocity and reflectivity through the storm as it flies along. Then the other aircraft is the NCAR Electra, and it's in the same family of aircraft, I guess, as the P-3, four-engine turboprop with slightly smaller engines, I guess, than the P-3. And it also has a tail radar, just like the P-3s, which takes vertical slices. On May 22nd, Joe Golden rode in the P-3, along with visiting scientists from other countries. There's a hail shaft. We're looking west. We're on the west. I'm looking east. We're on the west side of the line, headed south now. That's northeast, east. And we have a flanking line. There's the top of the storm. Wow. Beautiful. 
That is a beautiful storm. Oh, yeah. It's got a flanking line right there. It's got a classic flanking line. And with luck, we'll have a wall cloud where the flanking line intersects the main body of the storm. There's the hail shed. We're getting clobbered here again. We ran into some baseball, maybe larger size hill. We lost most of the front window and all of the back. <laughs> And we're waiting for the over here, hail to subside. <laughs> right. Damaged vehicles and the lack of a tornado is not a sign of failure. Every vehicle gathered a continuous flow under and around a spectacular storm that refused to spawn a tornado. said that the Electra and the P3 were the only Vortex vehicles without a cracked windshield. The probe vehicles are not supposed to charge directly at the tornado. They all have specific missions in specific parts of the storm. Only a few probes get to go up close and personal with the tornado. Each team has uh, these things we call activity cards, and they're different for each team, and it shows a picture of what the storm looks like and where that team's supposed to be operating. And then on the, on the back side of the card, it lists exactly what the team should be looking for and what kind of data they should be collecting. So all I do is say that we're in this activity. Let's see, this one's the slow-moving HP storm. If I announce that we're in HPS, then teams each pull out their own uh, customized activity card for HPS, and it gives them a little bit of a, a briefing on uh, what they should be doing. Vortex had some real successes in 1995. This tornado formed less than a half mile west of the Armada. Some cars stopped, others sped up, and the tornado passed between them. Go north. Go north. Go north. It's going to take that. Very close. Oh my God, I took a sign or something. Watch out for the brief on this side. Yes, be very careful. Put your head down. Damn. Nine vehicles recorded data from within a mile of the tornado. Okay. Okay, it's past us. 15 miles to the northeast, they again crossed the damage path just behind the rain wrapped tornado. Look ahead. The first nine days in June 1995 was one of the most spectacular times in the brief history of storm chasing and the high point of the project. The story begins near Friona, Texas. The Friona storm provided good data, but the best was yet to come. After the Friona tornado roped out, Eric decided to ignore a promising storm nearby because it would eventually move into an area without roads. Instead, he directed the Armada to another growing storm, 30 miles to the east near Dimmit. All the vehicles and the tornado were finally in place where they were supposed to be. The funnel was literally surrounded by instrumentation and radar for its entire life cycle. 
See the flash? Yeah. There it goes. See the debris? Yeah. Still, oh, it's going to suck up the fan. It gets close. Is that C-12-1? Wow. Okay, standby for six, twelve one FC. Just cross the road about a mile south of us. That's beautiful. Oh, Absolutely. I know. I'm afraid it's going to max out. We might want to get a, a little further north, actually. Watch, keep an eye on that, Bob. Yeah, but it, it could max out, you know, it could get wider and it could come out towards us. Good job. No, you don't. But watch out for strong info. Unbelievable. Yeah. Great. That's beautiful. Is this for real? We better make sure that we can get out of it quickly. Oh my god, I never seen anything like this. How incredible. Oh, large tornado. Seven miles from Dimmit, Texas, on whirlwind tours, a lifetime dream was coming true. Finally, after more than 40 years. <laughs> On June 5th, Chuck Doswell, the lead forecaster for Vortex, and Alan Moeller of the National Weather Service in Fort Worth were watching what they thought would be their best tornado of the year. It even had satellite vortices rotating around it. As it turned out, their tornado of the year perhaps the tornado of their life, would touch down three days later at Pampa. Chuck and Alan, the county sheriff, and several local residents would do something that few people would ever do, or ever should do, chase a tornado across a city. Come across right out the intersection of Alcock and Price Road. Alcock Price Road is going to be a little bit north. It's going into the city at this time. In this home video, a 100 foot long factory warehouse is lifted almost intact and whirled around the far side of the funnel. Steel cables can be seen hanging in the tornado's circulation. The sheriff's video, taken as the funnel passed through the industrial section of Pampa, shows at least three vehicles being thrown from the tornado. 
the first and second are pickup trucks, flattened by tumbling inside the funnel, and then thrown from the funnel at about 90 miles per hour. Crude photogrammetry for speed and distance can be done by assuming the vehicles are about 15 feet long. The intense part of the tornado is about 120 feet wide at the base. We know that the video frames are 1 30th of a second apart. The van is thrown from the tornado at about a height of 100 feet at a speed of about 80 miles per hour and lands about 100 feet from where it was picked up. The lower part of the funnel appears to be rotating at about 250 miles per hour. But that wind speed may not have extended down to near the ground. Local officials located six vehicles in the air on this video. We'll see more of Pampa in the top 20 countdowns. The third member of the tornado family formed at the edge of Tampa. TV meteorologist Mike Morgan and his chase partner watched it rope out northeast of town. No service at all, okay. The flash was on. Wow, look at it dance. New mezzo forming southwest. We're now west of Miami, and this will come straight toward us. Big cone forming probably on the ground out of a new wall cloud right now. And on 282 west of Miami, this is going to come right toward us now. Oh, this is going to be nothing but incredible. This is going to be the most incredible thing ever. Oh, God. Here it is. And we can go right back west, too. I love it. Oh, this is going to be incredible. Oh, this is going to be there un... Goes, there it goes. goes. Tornado on the ground. About eight miles west of Miami, on the ground. Eight to nine west, on the ground. There it goes, coming out. It's on the ground, clearly on the ground. On the road, about a uh, half mile down the road. Multiple vortex, on the ground. There's a car down there. There's, there's a car down there, right in it, right in it. It just crossed the road. This is about seven. We've got a multiple vortex tornado here about, uh, there's a house over there. I don't know how that house is still standing. It's a big egg beater. It is a big egg beater. It's exactly what it is. Some condensation form. Oh my gosh, Brian, look at it. Yeah, it's getting huge. It is getting Stop huge. Right here. Yeah, here it is. Overlook right, right here. Yeah. Uh, that's a plant. That's a plant of some sort, a yeah. gas plant. And it's it's sitting right there on top of the gas plant. It's moving west northwest where the tank has been damaged. Wrapping up in rain. I have some incredible video, Brian. Yeah. In absolutely unbelievable video. Oh Lord, Brian. Better, 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 better. Yeah, oh that. my gosh, look. It's a hardware thing like Oh gosh, we're here. A four-wheel drive? Yes, we're in four-wheel right drive. No, we're in four-wheel drive. I just don't want a mezzo to form over our heads. Yeah. This is what we'll have to keep watching. Maybe we will get stuck. Yeah, we're not gonna do this. Okay. This is slush city. Okay. Like, we can get out of it because it's four-wheel drive, but we're not gonna take this road. We're not gonna take this road. Oh, this is un this is unbelievable. Hey, going north, Brian, is there any is there any option that goes west if uh, we go north? Let me get my book here. 
it is absolutely we're waiting for a new if a new meso forms it's going to form pretty much right watch out for those bird ditches pretty much right on top of us if a new meso forms i have a little bit of trouble here but i think we'll be all right new meso form in southwest here rain curtains okay they look at my mouth oh here. gosh Okay. Oh, your radio. oh, it's going to do it. Brian's going to do it. Okay, it's a little slushy. I'm going to slow down here a little bit because it's a little bit slushy. Near the boundary of cooler air to the north, they waited in vain for more tornadoes to form before heading south to another supercell near Allison. As we shall see, that wait may have saved their lives. Cattle guard. Tornado. Second tornado, tornado number two, 6, 6 10 p.m. Get a tornado east, I'm sorry, tornado west, tornado northwest. Second tornado. Tornado number two is right there. Sorry about that, I'm getting too excited here. Tornado number one is back over in this area. It's roped out, roping the out. The Allison tornado family began 30 miles to the south of Pampa, near Clarendon. Bruce Haney saw the first four tornadoes in the family. New funnel. New funnel right here. Tornado number three, it looks like. Tornado, debris, dust underneath it. Tornado number four. Tornado number four, if not in McLean, just to the north. Okay, I'm in the hook. Rotation's right here in front of me. Large tornado right here in front of me, less than a mile. Less than a mile. I'm too close here. Man, look at that motion. Power pole's going down. I'm too close. I'm turning around. White tornado now. Got to watch for debris. Another tornado, just uh, some power lines down right here. Here's a place where uh, concrete has been scoured. See it right there? Wow. Concrete has been scoured. Time is 7.04. Tornado's off to my northeast now. Vortex Armada was initially deployed 100 miles to the north. The Armada caught up with the Allison supercell near Kellerville, just as Bruce Haney lost the funnel. Excellent data was collected for the next two hours. You guys are looking out for me, right? <laughs> K-101 is in constant contact with civil authorities and law enforcement agencies and will broadcast all bulletins and other weather-related information as it becomes available. Stay tuned to K-101 Radio. Tornado one of you down until 8.15 for Wheeler County. A tornado near Kellerville, and apparently it has hit a home in Kellerville. is moving north-northeast at 15. It will cross northern Wheeler County near Mobile and Briscoe. You are in the path of that tornado. A tornado warning until 8.15 for Wheeler County. We're Let going to leave Panhandle. Probe 2 and look in on Probe 3, west of Allison. They're sitting in rain that's being wrapped around the mesocyclone. The mile-wide tornado is just a few miles south of them, and they can't see a thing. This is dangerous business. We'll check back with them in a few minutes. 
probe two, slowing down and maintaining its proper position, was passed by other probes and chasers, including a van with Jim Leonard, Bob Prentice, and Rich Thompson. We'll join them as they head north on what could be a collision course with the tornado. All right. The whole thing is a tornado. Look at the inflow jet that just went around the front of it. Yeah. I got slow speed. Oh, we're getting real good lighting. I mean, good contrast. We're going. Oh, wait a minute, we're getting close, we're getting too close. Bobby, 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 that's a lot closer. We are, yeah, it is a lot closer. Hey, okay. hey, it's moving, I think it's moving our way. Turn south, turn, turn south. Turn south. south. We, we gotta no. figure out where we are. Okay, okay. Yeah, go, go for it, go for it. Oh, wait a minute. Go south, Bobby, south, south, south. Go south, I mean, or stop it. Yeah, so hurry up, turn around, quick. Get the rule, shut up. It's, go, it's turning right, fast. Hurry up. Which way, which way? South. South. Just go a little bit, yeah. Because see, it's just not, we don't want to get the damaging winds. Roll your window up now. <laughs> okay, stop okay. here. I can hear it real clear. Tell you what, can I get out of the car? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're safe to go north. I can't even open this door. Try to get out. No. Tell you what, I'll just stay in. That is not very far west of us. Go ahead and pull it. See, look at that. Jim, film that. I am. I got it. Really, really rapid rotation. Turn it! Get in the car! I'd go south a little bit, Bobby. It looks like the strong circulation is pretty we're broad. Safe. Yeah, we're, we're, safe. we're safe now. A few miles back to the south, Probe 2 had a close encounter of another kind. Just keep aiming that direction. Use your shoulder. Uh, okay, stop. All teams, I put the tornado now about. Uh, Whatever. One and one half mile, 300 degrees. Okay, hold on, wait a second. Slow down. Oh now RFD, big time. Watch out for spin ups. Uh, We're gonna be picked up. Go face the wind, face the wind, face the wind, back it up. All right, there you go. Go face the wind. Please, the tornado is large enough that triangulation is a little bit Sorry about that. The tornado may be almost a mile across. FC, this is Pro 2. Okay, Tornado azimuth, 360 degrees. We had an 82 knot gust out of that west. Over. Good job, though, <laughs> <laughs> 82, 82 knots. Oh my gosh. 82 almost picked up our car and threw it. Here, there are tornadoes forming on the back side of this tunnel. We see two of them now, and we see yeah, both. It's heading west, actually. If you get out the window, you can see it coming. Yeah, here's a cone tornado right off that. That's probably what passed over us. See that little cone? See that cone dipping down? Yeah. Get out. This is a cone looking east, northeast. northeast. East, northeast that probably passed over us. And I'm going back to the large tornado. To the west of Allison, on the other side of the tornado, probe three with Matt Biddle had its own close encounter. See, this is full three. I'm not positive that the thing isn't coming back to the west. Oh, you know the window back here? Hey, it's Cam yeah. one. Can you see the tornado? Oh, uh, let me look at her. No, uh, you're going to do it, but. Oh. FC, this is probe three. I think we're seeing visually in uh, 1243. We believe the tornado is just. Oh, the board is crossing the road in front of us. Yeah. It's yeah. moving south. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, picture, picture. Video. FC, right. this is probe three. Yeah, <laughs> okay, the main tornado is just to our northeast. It's submerged. Uh, we're going to send telemetry. Also, we have other tornadoes revolving around it now. I don't know whether they're anticyclonic or not. Here's our telemetry. Go, go, go. Forward. 
You think that would be better? Yes, yeah, go for it. 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 Well, we are in tornado damage here. Trees are down. Trees, trees are down. I've got to shoot this. My gosh, we are in major F4 tornado damage here on the road. Uh, it's right. It's moving. It's, it's to our northeast. Power lines down. Power lines down. F4 damage. F4. Oh, power lines down. Power line. Trees are trees are shredded everywhere. Trees trees are shredded everywhere. F F4 tornado here. Quick update for you on that tornado in Allison. It is now reported to be a mile wide. Oh my God! Moving off to yeah, the northeast at about 30 miles an hour. So again, in the uh, Texas Panhandle, Wheeler County, a large tornado. Power lines are down everywhere. Reports tell us near Allison, big over here, northeast, okay. at about okay. 20 miles an hour. Stay with There's debris all over the place. Mile wide tornado. We just it's just to our northeast. Strong southwest winds. God, Brian, we came in right behind it. Yeah, I mean, the guy was wearing in its path. A little bit toast. <laughs> Good one. You got that one. Uh, that was the last great vortex chase. It may take five to ten years to search all of the raw data and locate all the clues that will lead to new ideas about tornado formation.
The first tornado ever photographed from an airplane was caught on movie film during Project Rough Rider. We've always thought that the very first motion picture of a tornado was taken in 1951 at Corn, Oklahoma. But perhaps it was not first after all. This next funnel may have touched down and moved inland. Here is an amazing picture. The actual forming of the tornado that destroyed Santa Cruz del Sur in Cuba. This unusual scene shows the deadly spiral whirling down to level off the peaceful countryside and tear up everything with its rain. Look, it strikes. A finger of death pointing from the sky, spreading destruction as it travels across the country at 30 miles an hour, southward to the Caribbean Sea. It's the first time this rare sight has ever been caught by a camera. And here's the chaos caused by the tropical tornado. Just a mass of ruins. This is the first film ever taken of a tornado on an actual tornado chase. Neil Ward, one of the true pioneers of severe storm research, was guided to it by Oklahoma City radar. The position of a supercell with a weak echo region was relayed from Oklahoma City to a state highway patrol car that accompanied Neil. Always years ahead of his time, Neil Ward was the father of scientific storm chasing and the man who refined the multiple vortex tornado model. He also experimented with ideas such as how the outflow from one storm can enhance tornado formation in a nearby storm. In a great irony, he passed away in 1972, just days before the first organized storm chase would take to the road. Tornadoes have occurred in many places where we initially thought they were very rare. We know now that small tornadoes occur in almost every country. Weak tornadoes have been filmed in both England and Australia. A 27-year-old factory supervisor, Jeff Bailey, caught this graphic film on his 8mm home movie camera. Bailey saw the tornado approaching but first rushed to get his children under shelter. Then he grabbed the camera and started to film. He said the tornado was white, spiralling hundreds of feet into the air. Furniture, tiles and roofing iron were swirling in an upward spiral around its centre. As it moved over each house, Bailey said there appeared to be an explosion and the house contents were sucked into the air. The tornado turned away from his own home, but debris continued to fall from the sky. A tornado is too big for anything else that is not a whirlwind that is a tornado. It's almost up there. This is great. This is a rare shot. Oh yes. Keep your eye directly on that tornado at all times. You don't care about lightning right now. Oh, that lightning is not a major issue right now. Look at it. It's beautiful, considering. I know. Weak tornadoes occur every year in California, probably in larger numbers than are presently being recorded. Some parts of the Central Valley near Fresno, for instance, may have more tornadoes per square mile than several eastern states.
California has also seen some spectacular non-tornadic vortices. witnessed a remarkable vortex on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Too close, too big. Huge tornado on the ground. Very big tornado here. This is better than Eric's. Maybe two miles away. And we got an anticyclonic tornado trying to spin up here. We better watch ourselves. Right there. Yeah. Out of fucking film, can you believe it? I gotta get my movie camera. That's what I gotta do. Cyclonic squirrel is going to pass about half a mile away from us. We're okay. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, we're losing visibility somewhat here on this thing, but it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Looking back to our west southwest, this road faces west. We have tornado on the ground. Look at the debris in it. Apparently some kind of a gust tornado along the outflow. There, I got the debris at full zoom. Okay, debris very close, uh, just along the hill, southwest of us. There, spinning up another one, a whole yeah, series of them. A whole series of them, holy mackerel. That one I can see a core in. Nice core.
Another Gus Nato. It's anticyclonic in case you're interested. Land spouts are usually weak, slow moving, and often occur well, as local outbreaks. In, uh, it is now clearly kicking up a great deal of debris from the ground, uh, and it's intensifying and forming a complete tornado, as you can see, from the, from the top of the cloud down to the ground. And the first one remains on the ground, kicking up a great deal more debris. So these are both on the ground and moving, but they appear to be moving very, very slowly at this point, Mike. This outbreak was broadcast live on television I nationwide. Think we're about, uh, 10 to 12 miles away. That was what someone spotted. Right, that's but it what the spotter said. Part of Jane, me. I, from my experience, I would say that storm is only about five miles away from here. I, I, that's you know we're we're guessing at it from one direction, but that's from the movement I'm seeing from the ground. Because in 1995, away, you don't video see of six Texas like land spots in a row were used that, on news broadcasts five, around the world. Six miles away from our location. There's one. There's two. Three. Go back north, Daddy. Four. Five. See, Baba. Six. A lot of tornado. They're pretty, aren't they? You still filming? Yeah. Your red lights on? Yep. Down the bottom? Yep. No, there's another one to the right. Fiction tried to develop right over there. Right over here. Boy, that cloud had some bad stuff in it. This one here's broke up now. Ah! That one's broke up, and that one's about finished. This one's just developing. I said that one's broke up. It's still got a little funnel in it, looks it's, like. It's got a funnel in it, but it's... What is it? Tornado? Is it going to be okay? Okay. It's back gone now. They broke up. Here it comes. We're going to oh, have to Lord get under... Oh, Jesus. Protect us. Granny, you need to get the mattresses out. Look at that down there. Are you taking that? Yes, I'm taking it, Granny. Look back yonder, Grandpa, on that, where that windmill's at. I'm going to put this, see if they want to take this, Granny, on TV. If we live through it, I'm going to see if they can take this on TV. Okay, it's gonna blow the windows out, ready? Let's go. Get up, man. Well, ain't got no lights where I could see the inside of the house. This thing's pretty well tore up. I haven't seen one that wide before. I'm not watching, I'm recording it. Get in if you get them. I will, sweetie. I will. I'm not stupid. I'm a little crazy, but I'm not well, stupid. I've never seen one that was up on the top and then not be able, you could see right through it and then see it coming from the ground up. I've never seen one like that before. We were watching it coming down the highway. Danny said, I think we better pull over. It's getting bigger. I know that. I'd say it, if it's moving, it's moving directly this way. See, I've never heard one before. Well, listen to the roar. Yeah, that's it. You're not going to get it on that with the wind. I don't know. I might get some of it. I'll tell you the truth, I could sell it to the radio station or TV station yeah, yeah. if I could get closer. You don't need to get closer than this. I'll get divorced. <laughs> The slow-moving Cantrell tornado, passing just north of Springfield, was probably the most photographed tornado of the year. It's rare to have an unobscured funnel move slowly past a large city.
him on the TV. It said between Carmen and Allie, it was on the ground. <laughs> Is it still? Oh my God. I get too excited to do this. Right there, right there. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go in the house in a minute. I knew it was going to do this. Oh my god. Uh, where is it? Which way is it going? Oh, it's going to come over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate Oklahoma. Oh, Jesus. Lois Martin, I hope you're not home. Oh God, cars just took off at the roadside park speeding. Well, fellas, this is it, dears. I'm going downstairs. Hang on. Heather, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm on my way, just hang on. Also in 1995, Matt Versteg photographed a pair of violent tornadoes crossing Interstate 80 in West Central Iowa. The, road. the interstate was shut Very down shortly, so the tornadoes the could cross safely. It's about one mile, one mile south of Interstate 80. The second one is behind it, about three miles. Uh, quite a bit of a uh, debris cloud coming out of the second one. And we've got three tornadoes. The first one is about a half mile south of Interstate 80. The second one in the family is about three miles south of it. And then there's another one that I see farther on to the south. More debris in the air. More debris in the air. It's getting wider at the base. Estimate base uh, quarter mile. First uh, tornado is just now crossing Interstate 80. Matt then took to the air and photographed these spiral ground markings near Stewart, not far from where a top 20 home video was taken. Dust whirl. What is that? It's a dust nato. Well, it's on the inflow. It's moving in toward the west. <laughs> Ow, damn, there was a big bug on me. What the hell was that? I gotta zoom out. That's, God! What is that, 50 yards from the edges? Yeah. 75 yards? All right. That was a big bug on me. What in the hell were you? Yeah, see, we've got all this crazy turbulence up overhead. Be quiet, I think... be quiet. Real good stuff. In fact, a little too good stuff. It's a little close from my viewpoint. <laughs> you know, we can't see anything but it. Okay, we're backing up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you backing get the impression. Up. Yeah, it's a nice little... Uh, uh, yeah, they're gonna, Gene's going to have some funny video of us running away from it. Look at this. Cow, what is that? That is literally 50 yards away in the field. Yeah. It's not strong. No. Holy cow. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's about probably literally 100 yards behind us. Yep. Now, have you ever been closer than that? No. Hold on. Snapping a picture. You can almost hear it. You can. Yep. 
big old tornado. This home video countdown includes any film that was taken by someone other than a storm chaser. A few look like their tornado chase videos, but that was not the original intent of the photographer when he or she left home. Going that way. Yeah. He's not home yet. Watch it. It's going to get that house right there. Yes, baby. it is. There it is. There went the barn. Look at that. Oh my God. Look. Right You're kidding. It's Look at this. Yes, it is. There it is. There went the barn. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Right there. Look You're that. kidding. Let's look at this. Picking it up now. Let's get on, John. I don't know. You guys still watching? This call. Look at the debris. I don't see the other one. I don't see it yet when you said you saw two. Yeah, it's already gone ahead. 
It already went ahead? Yeah. Look at that. It's going to get that new house sitting over there, too. Yeah, there's a brand new house sitting over in that woods. They must have made past it, though. Up there. Yeah, look at all this wood here. we wanted now. Big time now. Don't get too close, John. Honey, don't worry. We're not. Okay. Yeah, we're we're, we're okay here. Look, it's still a hit. Look at it. It's still a hit. It's gonna be big time. Yeah. Well, I can't believe yeah. that little tiny storm cell turned into it. Yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> wow. Look at Atlanta Lakes here. Tore it up. Look at this. Oh my God. This is brand new. Building. Look at it, it's getting Brian's house mean? right now. There's Brian's house just went. Why? How do you know it's, it's Brian's or? I know, I can see. Trust me. Boy, it's just south of your folks' house, huh? It's come it's through. South? Come through right here. Isn't that funny looking? 
puppies go miss the house here, but them little ones spawning off of it, you see there. Uh-huh. Yeah, but see how it's so calm? Oh, my goodness. Look what? at that. What is that? That's a cloud. That's a funnel cloud. moving at a speed of about 20 kilometers an hour. Well, this puppy here is a hydraulic cylinder off a front end loader, a high left front end loader, and it's approximately from the edge of the outer debris, it's about, I'd say, about 600 yards that it proved by itself. But one is possibly buried in the ground about five feet, five to six feet into the ground. Look at this, Edward. Get ready for a go to the basement. God, look at it. That's a table. Dad, get down to the basement. Now. James, run upstairs and grab some blankets. Whoa! Major footage. I don't know how much longer I want to stay here and film. Damn. Everything's flying away. Everything. Here comes the wind. She's in her basement.
felt like I was struck. At Fritch, Texas, we saw multiple tornadoes. Lightning striked the photographer. Then, a close-up view of disintegrating trailers. Uh, you can see it coming over the lake now. It's just shooting. It's just totally shooting. Oh, look at the trees by the highway. Bending. All right, look at there. The, look at the highway trees. Oh, oh. The power line just went out. Power line just went out. Look at them. Oh, oh, power oh, lines. Oh, I'm getting oh, every power line that's out. This is cool. <laughs> Ship's gonna. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's right oh, out oh, here. Get out of here. Up ten that's feet from it, one. and all the electricity. All the power lines are going. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. It's going right out across. You can right see the stuff across, flying. Right across. You can see the stuff flying. What's, what bay is it? Look at this. Look at it. Oh. Yeah. You can oh, see it. You can see it for yourself. You can see it. It is totally incredible. This is so sweet. Don't stand by the windows. Totally incredible. It's right outside. Oh, there goes Bob's the boat. <laughs> well, I hope not. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Can't wait for the windows. Whoa. Can't wait for the windows. Tree just blew over. It's devastating. It's just totally shot. Why is it selling to Jim Danny's house for 20 years? I'm right here at Crop Products. I'm right here with him, 100 yards from it, Debbie. Where are you at? Get everybody inside because this is one big. Okay, I'm on 60. I'm going to try to shut off everything coming in. It's a quarter mile north of the railroad tracks, a half mile west of Price Road. Okay, it's kind of stationary right now at this time. It is uh, moving to the north, east, mainly east. Not very fast. It's stationary right now. This is spectacular. This is spectacular. We have to breathe thousands of feet in the air. There are flash fires on all the uh, high tension wires. We're about three quarters of a mile from the actual touchdown at this time. With its vortex breakdown, helical vortices, single suction vortex structure, and 30-foot trees ripped out of the ground, many people consider this view of a tornado to be the best ever taken. Go, shoot it. Better floor it. Better floor it. Shoot it. We're all right. Just stay ahead of it. You're okay. You're okay. Keep going, man. Keep going. For sheer human drama. 
this may be number one for a long time to come. Get up under here, under here, under here. Get up under the girders. Is that where you want to go? Yes. Underneath the girders. Keep rolling, Ted. It's coming at us. It's on the ground again. That's on the ground. On the camera. Tap. Hey, that's really getting twisted oh, out. God. Damn this goddamn camera. Look at that tornado. Look at that. It's just the strangest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. It's, it's going down. Back up again. Look at that, I can't get the whole thing in the video at the once. That's I'm still left with a tornado. Just take it. I don't know what's going on here. That's all she wrote. What a show. Thank you, uh, Mother Nature. Hey, Mike, smile! <laughs> Tornado is now in the wheat field. Okay, the main tornado is just to our northeast. It's submerged. Uh, we're going to send telemetry. Also, we have other tornadoes revolving around it now. I don't know whether they're anticyclonic or not. Here's our telemetry. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Okay. Look at the vault on this thing. The tail. A low ring right there. We're gonna have to keep an eye on all this. We have a tornado. Tornado is on the ground there. Okay, on the tripod, two cameras. Really turning up now. Really going good. Yes, go, 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 oh, love those vortices. We're flying down there, it's coming in, we've got northwest winds. Oh, it's getting cold and wet. Cold and wet. Sighting of tornado. Sighting of the tornado. Got it. Up close and personal. Tornado still there. 
Oh, look at that. What's the voice? Okay, you got it? Yeah. Oh, tell me to take the pictures. Do you have the signal? Oh, what a classic. This is what's happening just to my west. I'm southbound. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I'm getting in an area of danger here. Unbelievable. OK, that's an area of uh, outflow going down and up. And here in the center, we have a developing, apparently a developing tornado. Good road RR and 15, tornado on the ground. Goodland does have a tornado warning out on this. This is their area of responsibility. Oh, look at that inflow. My God, it spun up another one right by it. Tornado is still on the ground. Still appears to be drifting slightly southwest. Almost not moving now. The area of rotation is just crossing uh, Highway 36. car just drove through the area of rotation. Ends are all in. We got a tornado on the ground. There's uh, people driving through the edge of circulation on the on the road on 36. Uh, tornado on the ground, just south of road Highway 36, west of St. Francis. Do you copy? Once again, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for a portion of northwest Kansas. Information and details concerning the warned area will be broadcast shortly. Five LTM mobile. Okay, we're at the junction of 35 and 82. We're northbound on 35. We have a funnel just off to the west of that junction. Let me ask a quick question. Are we all seeing the same funnels or are these different funnels? Just Affirmative. Just all seeing the same storm. Affirmative. Transmission short. Okay. Tornado has just crossed 371. Power flashes. It's across the road right in front of us. Got a new wall cloud to the northeast. New developing wall cloud. 
Okay, we're near the county road 131. Oh, county road 131. It's in a house. It's thrown the car. It's thrown the car around. Look at the power flash. It's hit a transformer. My goodness. Tremendous transformer drawn fire right here by us. By the Callsburg Cemetery. Callsburg Cemetery. Oh, it's about Cemetery. Uh oh. That's good. We're going south, huh? Well, we're just teasing fate here. Okay, now be real careful, Neil. Slow it down. This would be where we drive right into the tornado, so be very, very careful. CG. Rapid circulation, right overhead. Slow down, Neil. Stop. Rapid circulation. About one half debris, debris, yeah. tornado passing right in front of us. White tornado now. Gotta watch for debris. Morgan, yeah. I'm calling you on the PDT. You see it? It's going to it. Let me, I know. Give me the deal. Oh, it's huge. Oh my God, Mike! It's still gigantic. on the ground. It's just like sitting there, spinning. I've got northeast winds at 70 miles an hour now. Put it on tripod. Get the other ones all the way down. Hurry, fast, fast. I gotta get it on tripod. Hey, what town is this by? Huguenin. How do I get my? It's Wayne Huguenin, liberal. Where's Where's Huguenin? Where's Huguenin? Almost right way. Let's go. Straight, straight north. Yeah. Okay, Morgan. Seven mile. It's seven miles north of here, Shukaton. Yeah. But okay. It's nine mile also. That okay. Way. You there? Yeah. Okay. Do you want a PVT or video? I'm trying to do. Miles, you say that's okay. 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 Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna blast west. Here's the road. I'm gonna blast west. Want to blast yeah, west? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's let it go right in front of us. It's real right close. Let's we'll see if how close we can get. There's no. There's no structure, so we shouldn't be having any much debris problem. Let's get real close to it. This is yeah. Petrovsky. Yeah. I've got video okay. of it going right in front of me. Just stand by. I've got another PBT. You were shooting video. Yes. Test me by line. Continue to shoot. Continue to shoot video. Just yes. watch the deal. I, am. I got it. Make sure it's steady and perfect. I got it. Look at it. It's just growing. Morgan, it's now almost a, it's a half to three quarters of a mile wide. It's moving right toward the town of Eugenton, four miles south of Eugenton. It's going to hit Eugenton, Kansas, right on the border. Eugenton, Kansas, it's right in front of me. It's a, it's a half a mile to three quarters of a mile wide. It's now larger. It's now larger than Billings. It's now heading toward the town of Eugenton. Yes, it's, it's yeah, well, it's like four miles south, moving right toward him. It's speeding up. I'm going west, right toward it. Yes. Very carefully. Yes. About three miles north, there is a town called Wood. That's my Kansas map. That's my. Hang on, hang on. I lost my Kansas map. Three miles north. Go ahead. <laughs> I go east. I'll get out of the rain. I'm gonna go okay. east and get out of the rain. Okay. All right, Eddie, in there. Keep filming, buddy. Yeah, keep filming. Just keep filming. Ah, uh, Eddie, in there. Got it. Yes. Yes. Can you believe that motion? I that is tremendous motion. This? Beautiful. My God, that's beautiful. Watch out for debris. Here. Yep. Be okay. You're right. We'll Look at that. Shut your door for just a second. Got audio going. Okay. 
And right down the road, right there, is Laverne. Not too close, not too close. Okay, no problem. You just hang in here with me, okay? Don't hang up the phone on me. Laverne is gonna get nailed. Laverne's gonna get hit. Warn Laverne. Tell those people to get down. This is big time. But watch out for strong info. Unbelievable. Yeah. Great. Uh, east side. I'd like to do time lapse on something like this. Very nice, very nice tornado, very nice. Picture at 715, wide angle. Very nice. Wide open, 718. 718. 718. Rope tornado, rope tornado. Yes! Yes! There goes Mr. Funnel. Here comes a shooting vortex. A vortex down. Instantaneous tornado. Time is 725. We have sub vortices. It's on the ground. Look at the churning on the other side of the lake. Look at the churning on the other side of the lake. It's just across the, the bridge from us. Take some great photos. These people are crazy to go forward. Look at that motion at the base. All right, we've got a funnel now to the southeast. This storm is going crazy. Tornado southeast, number five. Number four, rather. Number four, tornado southeast. All right, tornado southeast and tornado east. We have two tornadoes on the ground simultaneously. Tornado number three roping out. What makes a storm like this go mad? All right, tornado number eight. The tornado number eight. Tornado number eight is on the ground and rotating around the backside. All right, funnel, funnel cloud, funnel cloud. Okay, big tornado. All right, it's cleared away from it. Yes, yes, yes. Lightning in it. That'll help. Thank you. <laughs> yes, definitely, yes.
Are we approaching I-35? Yeah, we'll be there momentarily. This is Gary Shaw. I'm looking at a large tornado live on the ground there in northwest Noble County. It's moving up towards Ponca City, southeastern K, Carl Lake, and northwest Osage. Uh, you need to get me on the air fast somehow. It's the right mover. We better go south. It's coming right at us. It's unbelievable. We're... John, the video, I'm a mile south of an F4 tornado, John. We're going to follow it. We're going to follow it up towards Ponca City. Uh, I'll call you back. We're going to get out and shoot some video. Why not? Yeah. Are you getting audio? Yeah. You are? Yeah. This is an unbelievable sight. It looks like an F4 tornado. It's just about a mile north of us. We're actually out of danger, believe it or not. I'm going to get back in the vehicle. Somebody check the... Uh... Yeah, loud. Angela, hi, give me uh, somebody. Holy mackerel. Anybody. Greg, I need, we need to get Chopper 2 up now. Greg? It's got to be a half mile. mile, a mile it's got to be a half mile wide. It's about a quarter of a mile wide. It was like hey, man got, all over we, again. We have got to get a chopper up, man. This is incredible. It's still on the ground. It's been on the ground for almost an hour now.
see a touchdown from the sky So little time to run or to hide It consumes with a hunger of fun All caught up in a world of desire And there are those who try to map out its path Try to measure the force of its wrath Some go down in great history But every twister is known for its misery Chasing the wind It's under my skin Oh, I'm chasing the wind Afraid you might pull me on in Oh, I'm chasing the wind I've got to know what oh, lurks Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what we've got is the, the little round dish is a satellite dish, and we send text messages back, to, back and forth from the lab on that. Uh, they'll send us OBS, and uh, we'll send back where we are. We don't use it a whole lot. We use the cell phone a lot more now than we used to, but we have the two antennas up front are for the two different cellular phones. The big, tall antenna is for our VHF FM uh, radios. If we're parked and we need better coverage, we just swing it up in the air and uh, use it. And then that antenna up there is one of the VHF radios, and there's another one at the back for VHF. The, the thing sticking up right in the middle is a flux gate compass to tell us what direction the vehicle's pointing all the time. And then on the front, you've, you've probably seen these on all the cars. Um, this thing is a pressure port, and it's got a clear hose that goes back into the back of the van and t hooks up to a barometer, a, a digital barometer. We use this to take the, all the wind gusts and all those sorts of pressure effects out and just leave us with the, the air pressure that you would see if the van wasn't moving and if there weren't wind gusts and all that. That's what this accomplishes. Uh, RM Young, uh, uh, what do they call those? Uh, yeah, 
It's a, the, the, the propeller is the anemometer and then the whole thing measures direction. Uh, there's a special name for a system like that. I don't remember what it is though. Uh, what else? Then the, uh, the curved thing over there contains two thermometers and a uh, hygrometer. So we get, our, we get our temperature and our humidity and our water vapor content uh, from the instruments in that shield. It has a fan in it that sucks air through it all day long. Uh, so when we're sitting still, we get good measurements. When we're moving down the road, the way it's designed is it, ought, it just, it's designed so that air gets sucked through it because of the pressure effects on it. In fact, we, uh, we have a, a GPS receiver that tells us our, our vehicle heading and speed all the time. So we get that, our vehicle motion vector, and then we get a wind vector off of this, and you just subtract those two vectors, and, it le and what it leaves you with is regular wind. So it's with the, accurate within about a meter per second driving down the highway. None of us expected that to work that well. It just, it just did, so we're really happy.